we have been going around from local government to local government to sell our ideas to the people. We are not afraid of selling our ideas. We are showing them everywhere we are gone that those that are there today have not given us value for money. That they have spent over 4 trillion naira. There is no value for money. But when, when it comes to market women today, will market women vote for them? No. Will they vote for them? No. We are saying that the market women should have confidence, that we have them at heart, that we are not going to be collecting uh, money from them to oppress them as they do today. That we are not going to convert their market stalls to shopping complex. That we will not convert them to shopping complex. We have been going around to tell the students I, or to ask them, are you alright with these people? And the answer they give us is what? No. They say what? No. We are telling the students that the government, those in government today, have not done enough for them. That we are going to do it differently because we have better idea than they have. And that by the time we finish, they will know that education has changed in Lagos State. We are going, we are going around, we are going to tell the non indigenous to ask them, are they happy with these people? And the answer they give us is what? We are saying that we are not going to deport non indigenous They will not deport non indigenous in Lagos State. But we will welcome them and we will treat them well. We have gone around, we have even seen the Okada people, and we have asked them, are they happy with this government? No. And what is the answer? No. We say, we know them. We will treat them, we will sit down, we will agree, and we will treat them like human beings. This present government, this present government has no human face for anybody. The people that own this government think of only themselves. We have gone to the indigenous in Ibeju, in Leki, in uh, in Ekpe, in Badagri, in Korodu, in Alimosho, and everywhere. We have asked them the way they are taking their land. Is it okay by them? No. We ask them, is it okay by them? No. We say we are not going to take their land the way they take it now. The land belongs to the people and must be used by the people. You see all those the advert that they put change in Lagos. Anytime you pass, do what I do. When I see the change, you know what I say? I say, Amen. So you'll be joining me in that prayer. Anytime you are going, and in this Lagos, you see change, God say, Amen. Because God is going to answer our prayer. In fact, God has already answered our prayer. So, my people, the election is for us to win. We are going to win this one. But we are going to work hard for it. Today's flag off is just to say we are ready to go. We have not seen anything yet. We are going to go from local government to local government to further tell the people that we are on ground. We are going to show the people that we are on ground. I am in a better position to tell you who is the best between the two candidates. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When I was a council chairman, Ahmed yes, was a council treasurer.
instead of deceiving you, to tell you that he will employ all of you. How many can state government employ? Now, what he did, he set up skill acquisition program. And Firo here in Oshodi, Firo is in Lagos. What he has done is to say, if you have to acquire any skill from hairdressing to manufacturing, you will be trained free of charge. Whatever money you pay there will go into the acquisition of the equipment you will take home for your graduation. It ranges from 15,000 to 25,000. After that, the federal government has set up 200 billion micro credit facility. As you are graduating, Firo will arrange for you to get a small micro credit so that you yourself will become employers of labor. What else can he do? The East West Road, the East West Road is under construction. Look at our own here. Tinubu expanded what Papaja Konde built, the road, Lekki Road. He only expanded it and he has told them, go and find out from those who live in that area how much they spend coming out of their homes every day. Is it not an intra-city road? Is that the way it should be done? Let us reject them with your vote. How many of you have your PVC cards here? That is the power you have to effect the change they themselves are talking about. They want the change. We will give them the change.